I got this desk at Goodwill for one specific reason. And that's to do this. Oh, whoo! We're gonna be talking about the Polaroid SLR 680. Highly recommended video. I've talked about this a bunch. You kind of already know about it, but people still ask questions about, hey, when are you gonna do a review of this thing? Well, I think it's about time we get to it. So let's dive in. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. The Polaroid SLR 680, probably, if not, the most sought after camera on the market, made by Polaroid, that is. So why is this one so special? Why does everyone want this? Well, before we dive into this, let's go back a little bit and learn about SX70 cameras. This one's even seen in my intro that's also probably too long. <laughs> this is the SX70, the very first one they ever made, which is really cool. It's an SLR camera, which stands for Single Lens Reflex. If you know what a DSLR camera is, you know, like a digital single lens reflex camera, yeah, right, right? You know what that is? That's what this is, except not digital, it shoots instant film. All that really means is when you look through the viewfinder right here, you are looking directly through the lens. On a typical Polaroid camera that you're maybe familiar with are more boxy. And when you look through the viewfinder, it's not looking through the lens, it's off to the side. And so you never quite know what you're gonna get when you frame something up. These will allow you to see exactly your framing. And this also features manual focus. And they also have exposure compensation. And on the top, they have a slot for flashes. The next model that they came out with, which was this version, it's the same thing as this one, except it has autofocus. This uses sonar. Yeah, like submarines would use to find the enemy. <laughs> this sends a sound signal off of the subject and back to the camera and it focuses it based on that distance. But you can also still manually focus your camera by pressing this little tab right here and you can free focus your shot. But these shoot SX70 film. If you don't know what SX70 film is, I've done some videos in the past. I'll leave some links in the description below. But I'm not a big fan of SX70 film for mostly the speed of the film. You need a lot of light to shoot SX70 film. It has a lower ASA, AKA ISO, which is 165, I think which isn't very sensitive to light. So you need a lot of light to expose with these cameras. Well, that enters the beast, I call it. The SLR 680. This has all the features of these cameras, plus a built-in flash, and it shoots 600 film, not SX70 film. So you're able to shoot a much faster speed film, so you can take some shots in a darker situation and still get a photo. Plus you can just use a flash if you want. You can use flashes on these too, but sometimes flash isn't always for everybody. The quick features are, like I said on all these, it has it all. It has exposure compensation, it has autofocus via sonar, a built-in flash, which also communicates with the sonar. It's kind of cool because it depends on, on the subject that you are taking a picture of. If it's something a little bit closer, the flash will actually reposition itself based on the distance that you are shooting, which is pretty cool. And it has a glass lens, and again, it shoots 600 film. And it also folds up just like the other ones. I mean, it's still yeah, pretty gigumbo. Is that a word, gigumbo? It is now. Mine is uh, has seen better days. I was fortunate enough to find one of these for a crazy good deal. I, I paid $20 for this a couple of years ago, and it definitely needs uh, some loving. I've used this to death. It was in a rough shape when I got it. Like for instance, it's missing a pin um, on the viewfinder, and uh, someone jammed a paperclip in there to keep the viewfinder from uh, falling out. Now, typically you probably aren't gonna find uh, this camera for $20. The more realistic price for one of these in a fair condition is you're gonna end up paying anywhere from 350 all the way up to sometimes $600. I haven't seen one go for that price in a little while. The last time I did see one sell for about that price, it did come with his original box and the thing was like, perfectly mint. But these are fairly rare cameras and you're you're just gonna have to pay a lot of money for these because people want these. They did make one more model of this in the 90s and they named it appropriately. It's the SLR 690. Um, but I have heard some problems with that camera, uh, having trouble ejecting the newer film. When I say newer film, I just mean the film that you can buy on the market today because these cameras were made originally by 
the actual Polaroid company. The Polaroid company as you know it today is not the same Polaroid company it was pre-2008. That's a whole other story that we'll talk about another day, perhaps. But some of you viewers have left some comments and letting me know that the 690, they're having some trouble pushing that film out and it kind of pinches the film and causes some problems. So, but I've never tested that camera myself. This one is the only one I have and it works perfectly fine. The photos you get from this is so good. Super tack sharp and beautiful. However, it is still the same as these other cameras in the functionality and overall quality. Now, some people say SX70 film is better than 600 film. I would, I would strongly disagree. <laughs> and I do plan on making a video directly comparing them in a scientific way. If you wanna see that, consider subscribing. That'll be coming soonish. The SLR 680 is a really beautiful camera. If you have the cash, I do recommend it. However, I will say this, these two cameras still put out a beautiful photos. You can still use 600 film in these cameras. You just have to use an ND filter, or you can do what happened to this camera. And this camera was sent in to be converted to shoot 600 film natively. So you don't have to use an ND filter. It just natively shoots 600 film as the SLR 680 does. It's a little bit smaller and compact and you can still throw a flash on it if you want. But there are some purists out there that don't like that and that's fine. So there is this option to get all the features that you want. Um, it does need some love though. But the problem is finding parts to get these fixed up can be troublesome because there's companies out there that buy them up to re refurbish and resell them. The companies like Retrospect and I think Brooklyn Film Camera does that as well. And th those are gonna be refurbished and marked up heavily, but you are gonna have a nice working camera and it's gonna look brand new. So there is that. So if you wanna bargain hunt and try and get one of these, I would search Facebook Marketplace, eBay, OfferUp, uh, Macari even. So those would be some great avenues to try and save search with notifications turned on. Now, I said if you have the money to get one, but I would say if you're just starting out, I wouldn't start here. This is more for something down the line. Once you got your feet wet and found out that you like to shoot Polaroid photos and want to take it to the next level, this is where I would send you after that. But please stick to your box type cameras, the one step twos, Polaroid Now, not the Now Plus. Stay away from that. Link is in the description for why. Any of the other vintage type cameras like the Sun 660, the Impulse, Great, great and beautiful cameras. Start there. This is more down the line. This right here is the Cadillac cream of the crop flagship camera that you can buy made by Polaroid. Doesn't get much better than this, to be honest. If you have any more questions, leave some comments down below. I do my best to read every single comment and try to respond the best I can. Maybe consider joining the Spitfire Club. Yeah, the new membership thing is growing. Some big stuff coming. There's links in the description. Consider checking that out. I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there. Make some more.